article. So what we're going to be doing today in this video is we're going to be making a project from beginning to end using the technology we just learned or the, the technique we just learned about creating a button. We're going to make a project from beginning to end and that, like every project it always starts on paper and right now I don't have paper that you can see. So what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using PowerPoint. So I'm going to go ahead and open up PowerPoint and you can do this on paper. I'm going to go ahead and delete all of that. And I'm going to start off by drawing out how I want my, my design to be. So first of all, I know I'm going to want a window. And remember, you would be doing this on paper. And I'm not going to make it precise, but just so you can have an idea. And then from there, I'm going to make uh, create a button. So now we have our buttons. We have our interface, our user, our graphical user interface. For right now, let's just say this is button. one button two button three button four button two three four okay so now I named all my buttons and now I go to my flow chart so here I can say button one click okay so when button once click what happens is that let me get an arrow here so after button once clicked and this should be more like this so I should change that to something like this there we go so when button once clicked uh, text box one and that reminds me I have to name my text box so this text box and I'm just gonna give this a back color just so you can kinda see that that's separate okay so So this is uh, text box, and that would be all one text box one. Okay, so I have when button one is clicked, text box one, and that should be all one, one dot text. show message and then I can pretty much do all of that for all of my other ones so I'm just gonna group this and this is the advantage of doing it in a computer is that oops, I can copy this and I can group it and remember I'm not really showing you how to do I'm not showing you how to do PowerPoint so you can either do it in PowerPoint or you can just do it on paper but it's probably better that you do it on paper and if you want to do it in PowerPoint or if you already know PowerPoint you can go ahead and do pretty much what I'm doing because now your documentation can easily be duplicated and see I can just go ahead and do that and this is a fairly simple flow chart but it states the case pretty well and maybe um, I might even do something like this on one of these I might go like this uh, right in between there I say clear text box and that will go somewhere in between here I really don't have to do this because it automatically is going to clear the way we're going to do it we're just going to fill it in with the next message um, so we really don't have to do this but this really states the case here so I have button one button two and this will obviously be button three and button four Um, and I have their flowchart down. Now my documentation is sound. I have my user interface and I have my flowchart here. Now where I go is I go straight to um, Visual Studio and complete that portion of it. So this is the portion of preparing your work to be completed, preparing your application so that way you're able to um, go and start coding. 
um, especially when you're doing anything that's worth doing it's probably worth writing these things down getting it ready to be uh, developed and then going to develop it but now we have something that we can send our team they can say okay this is what we're doing Th these are the names here's the process that we all expect uh, and so everyone could be on the same page and then even if you need to come back to this sometime you can easily come back to this and remember what you were doing as a matter of fact down here I might even put some notes of some kind so let's say if I took this text box and I just made some notes here for later use okay so and then I can even make um, something down here that says editor or something whoever was editing it you know just things and notes that actually in your document will build over time so as new things happen on this one or new things are applied to it on this one I might just say uh, version uh, 0.1 okay and then I'll put my team's name over here so far my team right now is just one person so there we go that's my entire team but you can put your team there you could put what they do the programmers to people who do the graphical interface and stuff like that the user design and the database or whatever we're doing that's what will go here and then a nice document will really help you in the future and help you push forward with making sure that you have a uh, project that finishes and, and is completed the way you expect it to so the next video what we're going to do is we're now going to go ahead and make this um, in Visual Studio using Visual Basic